five points per game, 65% from the floor. But his assists are down a little bit as Phoenix dared him to shoot and score, and he did. Offensive foul, David Robinson, as he... in defense. San Antonio opening up with Purdue on Carl Malone. There's the seven-footer, Will Purdue. Stocked and open off the curl. Utah, 2 nothing. That's stopping his penetration, but he just stepped back and Thomas out the lefty 18-footer. Malone got the interior pass inside of Purdue and got the lay-in. 43 to go, first period. The lob inside to Malone. He got inside of Purdue again. Oh, he is just out for nothing. Malone has four for Utah. Malone posted deep against Purdue, the seven-footer. Malone's only 6'9". Shot clock to seven. Foster gets the roll. Jazz, 10-8. Stockton almost lost that pass. Foster diagonal to Malone. The fadeaway. Adam Keith stepped inside to get the rebound. Malone now left alone for an uncontested near set shot. There, Purdue fronting Malone now. Gets in behind, but Malone's in too deep. Way too deep, Bob. And what's Vinny was only one of seven for three. Only shot 37% from the floor in that Phoenix series, but he can be a big factor. Malone slips easily inside for the lay-in. Out on the, on the uh, zone call. A good explanation, uh, I add to that. Nevertheless, <laughs> it's the illegal defense, and Utah gets the ball. And Hornacek knocks down the two. 20-16, to 16, Jazz gets the triple. It's 37-29, San Antonio pulling in. They were down by 14. Malone! Nice hands. Herrera. Tough shot, people. 11 points, 4 assists. The 16-point lead has been cut to 6. Back to 8. Malone. 11 points early, and he is the man. Well, he started off the game with defense, and since then have picked it up. 14 points, 3 rebounds, and 3 assists. And we wondered how he was going to get inside the 7-footer. Right there, the quick touch pass, using his body, shielding the defense. And then, again, the defense on Robinson has been superb early in this game. Way to play basketball. You saw Tim Duncan patting Dick Bavetta. That's because he didn't. He down in the Houston series, and I was a little bit worried about where his head was, but he came out in game five and really and then rolled it into some smart play, some very versatile play on the inside. We worried if he was going to be able to get his shot off against the seven-footers, and he's found a way by out-quicking them down low, using his head, and then taking them to the perimeter, making them use their footwork. He drains the 17-footer. Big-time first half of basketball, and it all started. Caused the turnover. Brian Russell came up with a loose ball. Oh, nice. Beautiful pass. Stockton to Malone inside of Robinson. Four-point Jazz lead. The inside. Watch it closely. Corner set coming up. Malone using his body. Bob, we got a game going. Mailman shot clock to seven. Five. Suffocating defense. Russell tipped it away. Malone picked up the loose ball. Utah with a five-point lead, and they're back. Malone. Oh, yeah. Robinson. Oh, you Found see the cutting. cutting. Bob, you can see it coming. It's here at Utah. Carl Malone motioned to Jeff to cut down the lane and delivered on. This is only Malone's third free throw attempt of this ball game. He is three out of three. 11 of the line. Yet the game's in control. Yes, absolutely. Well, that's a good officiating crew experience for five against Houston. Got off to a big start here tonight. Hits one out of two that time. And he's spurs by a point. Into Robinson, defended by Malone. Robinson has it stripped by Malone. Oh, what a play by Carl. <laughs> Stockton tried to set up that pick and roll with Malone. Here it is. Stockton from the free throw line. Had to give it up to Malone. The mailman driving. Oh! The glass and one. You talking about coming up big to the lane with the big guys. Look at this. Power, finesse, and skill. Oh, off the glass. Give it to me. You got to go back to your bread and butter. That's Carl Malone on the post. And they did. And he answered the mailman. Because he's not as good at taking it off the dribble. That's Duncan. not what they wanted. Missed it. Rebound. Brian Russell. Jazz hold on to win. I am indeed. Carl, they say defense wins games. And that last stop 
was crucial. What, what did you guys do in the timeout? You knew it was going to Tim Duncan or David? Well, we knew it was going. We thought it was going to go to David or Tim, and Tim was on such a roll that we sort of figured he was going to uh, get the last shot. Greg uh, Foster really worked hard down the stretch for us, and I think he made him step, uh, take a couple steps out on the floor and make a tough shot. So Greg Foster uh, came up with a huge defensive play for us. It's just one game, but it's going to be a, I think it's going to be a great series. You came up with some huge baskets yourself down the stretch. They have great shot blockers, but when you needed baskets, you took it to the hole. What did you do differently down the stretch? Well, in a situation like that, you got to kind of force the issue and see if they're going to call anything. It was tough all night. I haven't really got into the rhythm that I want to get into, but down the stretch, I was able to get something to go. But I made up my mind I was going to take them to the basket. Like I said, it was a nice win for us. Congratulations. Good luck in game two. Carl Malone with some huge baskets, Bob, down the stretch. Utah with a big win here tonight.